DJ with the Spoiled Milk Channel, and today we're bringing you another action figure review. The action figure that we're reviewing today is none other than the Batman. That's right, the same action figure that is based on the character from the new The Batman movie. We're really looking forward to this movie, has us really anticipating what we're going to see. We're always up for a great Batman movie, so hopefully we're going to get a great Batman action figure as well to go along with it. So let's go open them up, take them out the box, and review this puppy. All right, so let's look at this Batman action figure sculpted and brought to us by Todd McFarlane Studios. And as far as details go, Todd McFarlane Studios is one of the better producers of action figures and they just do a great job uh, as far as bringing these action figures to life and giving them an amazing amount of detail. This Batman figure comes with his own trading card, which is pretty much the norm for most of the DC McFarlane uh, toy line. And it's a pretty cool addition. Uh, also comes with his own stand, uh, which again, this is uh, nothing outside of the norm. As far as additional accessories, Batman has a grappling launcher. And you can see around the top, there's a little peg, uh, which inserts into the character's hands. Now, for me, uh, this was one of the things that I kind of griped about because it just it kind of takes away some of the realism of uh, posing this character or actually using this character. Uh, it, the, the grapple gun just kind of plops right in there and his hand is like permanently stuck almost in like a, a kung fu chop. And that's not really uh, what I think about with posability. Uh, if there's anything, I'd like an additional set of hands to come with this figure. But overall, this figure is, is pretty awesome. As you look uh, from bottom to top, the details are great. When you're looking at the lines of the figure, you're looking at the, the cape and the cowl and just how it drapes on Batman. And, and again, uh, you know, looking at his left hand. It's the standard grip for most characters, but again, because he doesn't have anything to go in that hand, it, it doesn't make it look that good. Uh, for the head sculpt, head sculpt looks pretty good. Uh, to me, it looks almost uh, just like Robert Pattinson. Uh, and as you're looking at the cow itself, uh, there's a lot of detailed stitching in the cow, which looks very similar to what we've seen in the trailers. My only concern here, and maybe it was just the one that I got, is that the ear points are a little bent on this figure. So hopefully you don't get one like this, but mine was like it. Uh, again, looking at the boots, very detailed with the boots, the kneecaps, uh, the belt, and the rest of his armor. This Batman is actually uh, pretty cool, and he looks like he's ready to go and ready to rock and roll. The cape. It drapes off of Batman just right, just what you would think the cape should look for the Dark Knight. And he has a little uh, Nehru collar, I guess, <laughs> that kind of comes off of the cape. And it, I mean, you know, it looks it looks pretty good. It looks like it flows uh, really great. And, that, and that's something to be said, especially for these capes that are, for the most part, made out of rubber. Uh, so it drapes and it looks really, really good on Batman. Again, the feet, uh, which is a, a great detail of most of these characters, uh, don't just hinge back and forward, but they also uh, swivel left and right. And then you also have toe hinges on this character. And, and it's really a shame because I, I wish this character came with more accessories or at least fists to help us to pose him. Uh, as far as the armor goes, the armor looks awesome. 
and looking at even the, the the Batman signature logo on his chest, it protrudes out and the cuts are very clean. It's one of the things you're going to get from a, a Todd McFarlane uh, Studios action figure. Good cuts, good armor, great details. Uh, this figure is about seven inches tall and, and, and you can really see uh, what goes in this detail. And this character isn't super expensive. Where Hasbro is going up to, night, I mean, I'm sorry, not $19, but $25 uh, per action figure. And to see McFarlane be able to do this with 20 bucks per action figure is pretty good. Uh, the belt itself is also uh, very nicely detailed. I just wish it was a place for the grapple gun on there. Uh, when you're looking at the gauntlets for Batman, this was a concern for me. You can actually see that uh, the the gauntlet the gauntlet fins are kind of bent. So I'm hoping you don't have to run into that, but I ran into that uh, with this figure on both arms. Those fins were bent. Uh, again, the, the Batman body itself looks great. Uh, great details. Uh, you you really can't get more bang for your buck uh, than a char than with a character like this. Uh, the lines are great. Uh, even the posability is great. And again, my my only real concern is with the accessories that came with this action figure. Uh, a, a lack of having extra hands. A lack of uh, having anything to really attach to that utility belt. Uh, are the only uh, marks that I have against this figure. Uh, as far as the size, it looks great. As far as the details, it looks great. I can't help but recommend this figure, but hopefully we get a, another edition down the road just to add to the DC line and to the Batman figures. Again, we want to say thank you guys for joining and watching our video. Uh, we posted here the winner for our February drawing. Great job there. We have you posted. We, we reached out to you. Please connect with us and we'll make sure we get you this action figure. For all of you all that didn't win, uh, we're hoping you're staying with us. Please like, subscribe, and continue to turn on your notifications and comment on this video to be entered into a drawing for our next giveaway. Uh, again, thank you all for all of your support, for what you do, for the great comments and for just encouraging us to keep it going. Thank you guys. Be awesome and be great.